If you want insane deals on legit PC keys from great developers, use my fanatical link down below and start saving yourself some money. Hey, you guys remember Maverick's Proving Grounds, that revolutionary thousand player battle royale game that was announced around the time that E3 was going on this year? Uh, a lot of hype around it, a lot of skepticism as well, but needless to say, their marketing around that time was pretty phenomenal. They opened the game up to basically a pre-order system with founders packs, and it allowed you to basically get in on the ground floor of this reimagining of the battle royale, bringing a thousand players, well, not, uh, at the beginning it was going to be 400 to 600, and then working their way up to 1,000 player battle royale. Remember games like Fortnite and PUBG? Uh-uh, Mavericks is the way to go. And you have people like me who, while it looks interesting and the premise behind that is, eh, okay, we'll see. I was very skeptical on the claims that Automaton was making. Automaton being the developers here. They've been kind of updating the community via videos on YouTube as well as forum posts. And I gotta say, like, the post E3 um, marketing, I guess you could say, for Mavericks Proving Grounds has been somewhat confusing. They were initially going to be opening up betas, I believe, in August. And then when we got to that August um, point, I believe it was the beginning of August, they then came out and said that they're delaying it until the end of August. And then we got to the end of August and they came out and they did this huge forum post explaining that instead of doing a regular like beta where they run it on weekends, they're going to be doing a thing called the Forge, which is basically a test that goes seven days a week and allows them to redefine what it means to be a beta and, and kind of bring the industry back down to what an actual beta is, which is kind of what I assumed it was going to be in the first place when I first bought into the Founders Edition. And stop, I'm gonna stop you right there. Yes, I did buy into it only because I am a content creator and I wanted to follow this one through until the potential greatness of the game or the potential downfall of the game. But when I purchased the Founders Edition, I don't believe there was any statements or plans laid out that the game was going to be only on weekend testing. So when they came out with this Forge update, I was kind of just like, I, I thought that this is exactly what was going to happen from the beginning. But what actually kind of pissed me off about that update was when I first bought my Founders Pack and, and bought in, they said there was a limited number. Obviously it's bullshit because it's a digital thing, but I get, I, I'll, I'll give marketing a stretch there. And then they said, you you as a founder will get in on the ground floor. You will be the first one to be able to test Maverick's Proving Grounds. And then when they dropped the Forge update, telling people this is how they're going to be doing it, exactly the same way, but calling it Forge, they said that they're going be to basically be letting in people in waves. So a first set of founders is going to come in, and then people are going to be coming in as founders in, like, the next few weeks. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I, I mean, so... <sighs> I'm oh sh sure okay sure I'm not gonna I'm not gonna flame you I, I don't think that's video worthy I'm just gonna let it go and then we got to the delay it was then delayed again until September 20th which is actually this Thursday so they then go on to release a video update on their YouTube channel on August 29th basically explaining that that thousand player battle royale that they're talking about um it's more or less you're going to have a, a set number of people jump in out of the thousand players. And then as the game progresses, more and more players are going to be coming in. And they tried to blow this up like this is a reimagining of Battle Royale. The game type you'll be playing involves up to a thousand players in a single game, but you weren't necessarily all dropping at the beginning. You know, we were always talking about that, you know, well, we want out the player numbers, but, but you know, you can only have so many drop in. And we took a step back at one point. You know, why is that? Why is that sacrosanct in the Battle Royale world? Because that's the exact definition of Battle Royale, for fuck's sakes. This sounds more like a, a Royal Rumble in terms of video games. You have a set number of people start, and then every however long people start coming in. And they don't have set numbers for how many people are going to be starting. They don't have, they don't have any real concrete plans they hooked everybody in with thousand player battle royale boom 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 
pre-order, 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 take your money, take your money, take your money, and then they drop this video saying that, well, actually, uh, it's going to be probably a lot smaller games, and you're not going to be actually playing a thousand people. That's not what a battle royale is. First of all, Mavericks, Automaton, that's not a battle royale game, and I would strongly urge you to pull any notion of battle royale off of your website because that is not the definition of battle royale that the industry has given battle royale when when we talk about br games it is literally the maximum amount of people jump in and it's the last one standing but i realize as i record this you guys fucking know that you use the thousand player number to hook people in hook line and sinker and then it comes to today. Now, I was going to record this video. I actually have an entire commentary recorded specifically about that thousand player being turned into a bunch of smaller wave-based game modes. And I was going to record that video and drop it last night. I recorded and released two videos yesterday. And I was like, you know what? Fuck Mavericks. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a triple upload. And then I sat on it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait until tomorrow, which is now today. And thankfully... I'm very good at what I do because I woke up this morning and on my way to work, I get a notification from my Discord saying that Mavericks has just announced that there's going to be another delay. A game that is supposed to be entering beta in two days without showing a single snippet of gameplay outside of that one E3, like 10 minute really blurry video we got. And, and a game that we really don't have any fucking information for outside of a bunch of videos filmed in white offices with a bunch of people around talking about redefining. Two days before you're going to beta and you decide to just, nope, here's our third fucking delay on this title. Holy shit, I'm glad that I waited till today to say this. I smell a very big scam. Now, what I will say is in this update, they did say if you guys are disappointed with it, if you bought a Founders Edition, you have to wait until Friday, and then they're going to post refunding information, so at least they are giving you that option. I don't know why they didn't have that option today. A refund is a refund. You should have the people, you should have the, the resources to do it at this point. But I'm smelling something really foul about this project. I understand delays happen. In fact, we literally just spoke about Insurgency delaying their game last week. That game was set to come out this week, but the difference between Insurgency and this game, we've seen gameplay of Insurgency. We've had hands-on gameplays of Insurgency. If you wanted to buy into the pre-order, we get it right fucking now. You can see the Steam page for it. You can read about everything that you get inside the Steam page for Insurgency Sandstorm. There's no, there's no pulling the rug out and pulling the wool over eye. We know exactly what it is, and we know exactly why they need more time to work on the game. This game has an NDA under it. Once we actually get in, it's under NDA. We have literally no information about how they're going to be handling monetization. When you go to their website and you buy a Founders Pack, it gives you things like 12 months of citizenship, and then it says citizenship is the only way to gain unrestricted access to the Mavericks economy, making it possible to engage in trading and a range of customization features that include drones, titles, and full character customization. Um, I don't understand. Is, is this a sub, an optional subscription model? Is is that what I'm gathering from this? And then it goes on to explain citizenship. Uh, it says services can be acquired through the following ways. Real world money, a citizen pass, which can be bought with real life money, redeemable or tradable for players with bits. Citizen passes allow players to earn citizenship through play. There's so many fucking convoluted terms being thrown on this, this polished up website. Exclusive cosmetics. You get access to a Founders Hall, the forums, benefit summary. So basically, early Founders access has now been changed to November 2018. 12 months of citizenship, exclusive cosmetics. You get access to a Founders Hall, which is an in-game social area. There's so many things going on with this game, and we honestly haven't seen a goddamn real thing about this game and it's funny when you look at the benefit summary and it says achieving the most ambitious tactical MMO shooter ever was no feat. So is it a tactical shooter? Is it an MMO? Is it a battle royale? There's three different terms going on here. A tactical MMO shooter. Um, I, 
Is it a is it a fucking battle royale? Or is it more of a persistent universe? This is what it sounds like. You have a server, fucking, let's say, let's say a hundred people jump in, and it's PvP open world with MMO elements, right? RPG mechanics. And then you're gonna have more people jump in as more people die. Is uh, the server going to be one of those things where the game lasts over like a month long? Like, how does the game function? And Mavericks hasn't done a good job at, at explaining any of this shit. So what I will say is I'm along for the ride because I can cover this regardless of where it goes. I'm pretty disappointed that it was delayed. I was actually looking to to get in and, and see, even though I couldn't cover it, I wanted to see just what the fuck this game actually is. But I'm going to be following it. I'm going to be giving you guys updates and I'm going to be keeping it absolutely 100% real. I have no faith that this game is going to be anything close to what they are actually promoting at this stage. It might eventually. We have to see how development goes when we actually get our hands onto this Forge beta and then see how fast it takes for them to create updates and how long we're going to be in development cycle. On their website, I'm reading here that it's talking about like you can like gather gear in game and then you have to initiate an extraction. That sounds to me like we got some like escape from Tarkov type elements in there. Well, we know how the development cycle goes with EFT. Let's see what Mavericks can do. I I have no idea. The fact that we've had a bunch of fucking delays on a game that we have no idea anything about. I can't sit here and be like, I spent my money and I demand... I spent the money knowing what it was. Because, like I said, I create videos. I give you guys up-to-date information. So I have to be a part of some of this stuff. And if I have to spend $30 to potentially watch a project either crash and burn or prosper... I'm going to be in at the ground floor of either one of those options. So stick with me if you guys haven't subscribed already. Mavericks is going to be one of the games that I'm going to be keeping an insanely close eye on. I'm not impressed right now. Matter of fact, I'm actually a little cheesed at what they're doing. Because I know that there's a lot of people who have spent money based on the hype. And granted, hey, you spent money knowing that this might not actually be a thing. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I understand people's frustration. So if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. We're shooting for 100,000 subscribers. And if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys like the videos and share them. Leave the comments. That helps immensely. You guys have no idea. We are growing like crazy right now. A whole bunch of videos are dropping. I have so much content. I have a lot of shit that I want to say about these games. So thank you guys for watching. Shout out to all the subscribers. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>